New tonight at 11, it's being touted as the best new way to kick the habit, but it may be kickstarting a whole new generation of smokers. We're talking about e-cigarettes. If you don't know what they are, your teenager might. The number of high school age kids who have admitted to trying e-cigarettes doubled last year to almost two million. NBC Barry Stephanie Chong joins us now. And Stephanie, this is actually called vaping. Now. Yeah, that's that's right. Vaping as in vaporizing, burning nicotine and marijuana and inhaling the vapors instead of smoke. But like other tech gadgets, these devices have gotten smaller and more advanced, allowing some kids to smoke literally right in front of their parents. Lighting up 2.0. There's less of a burn. It feels less dirty. No actual lighter required. It doesn't smell. E-cigarettes, also known as vaporizers or vapes, have a battery powered heating element that warms the liquid, turning it into vapor. You can choose nicotine levels or how much marijuana you want to put in. These are hand-built generally. Frank DeLevy loves vaping so much, he opened up his own shop. Well, the vape scene is growing every day in the Bay Area. Only Vapor in downtown San Bruno is the latest in the Bay Area to sell the vapes. He says this is the secret to helping smokers kick the habit. If you're burning vegetation, you're building up tar in your lungs. If you're vaporizing liquid, you're not. There are even vape meets where people get together to compare and talk about their vaporizers. I've seen the growth of the popularity of it within the last year. Candace Garcia, who works with troubled teens and young adults in Santa Clara County, says there are so many colors to choose from now. Girls are turning vapes into accessories. Because if you're pulling out lipstick, you know, like you want to look like you match. So with this electronic cigarette or vaporizing pen, if it's a hot pink and you have hot pink purse, it looks cool. So I've seen it a lot. A kid can use it anywhere. And for therapist Phil Boisier, therein lies the problem. He says kids are getting hooked. A kid could just have it right here and just slip it out of their jacket, do this and, and be done. You know, they could have it like this. You're never going to see it. They could do it in class in front of a teacher. They do do it in class in front of a teacher. He says teens have even confessed to playing a sort of game, using vaporizers for both nicotine and marijuana in the same room as their parents. Without mom and dad catching on. The technology continues to advance. It's made a cigarette look like an iPod. It's made it sexy again. We all are a little bit addicted to our technology. Whenever you or I pull out, of our, pull out our smartphone, there's a little release of dopamine. When people use drugs and alcohol, there's a large release of dopamine. And you've got a double whammy. And perhaps luring in first-time smokers. A recent CDC study found about 160,000 middle to high school students who reported using vaporizers had never smoked actual cigarettes. San Francisco General Hospital Dr. Neil Benowitz says the impact goes beyond individuals. E6 could make smoking much more popular. People don't see as many people smoking anymore. All of a sudden, everyone's carrying e-cigarettes, so smoking behavior becomes renormalized. Dr. Benowitz, who's also a nicotine expert with UCSF's Center for Tobacco Control, Research and Education, says the newest devices are far less toxic compared to the first e-cigs that came out 10 years ago. Most likely, the e-cigarette users are right that e-cigarette use, if they stop smoking, would be much less harmful. Still, he warns, a lack of regulation has left many questions hanging in the air. Some of the cartridges are really big and contain a lot of nicotine. And so in theory, if someone were suicidal or if a child got a hold of them, they could get a potentially lethal dose of nicotine. For DeLevy, the last eight months of vaping is all the proof he needs. I've lost that smoker's cough. I feel more clear. Now, the vapes or e-cigarettes have not only gotten smaller, but cheaper. You can actually pick one up that can last for a couple years for as little as 20 to 30 bucks now. And legally, you can actually smoke these anywhere, including at work and in restaurants. Now, there was a Senate bill in California designed to ban e-cigarettes the same places traditional cigarettes are outlawed and to regulate the advertising of them. But that has been put on hold. Jess.